You think the open interface was small? Well, let me introduce you to the new version that Tech Artisan made, and it's even smaller. Yes, it's possible. This is the open interface extension board for the U console. This will transform your U console in the next portable KVM fill kit. And in this video, I will show you the detail and test in action. So stay tuned. This video is still focusing on the mini KVM toolkit for the U console. However, Tech Artisan still generously send me both revision. The mini KVM toolkit showcasing right now, which is, I would say, the original product. And from this one, you have like a nice package with all the different cables needed to make your operation straight from the box. And here, the current device that you will plug to the host and to the client. Now, why I'm showing you this, I think it's interesting to compare both, let's say, package. Because for the U console, what you have in the end is only a PCB. I will show you just right now. So you could see it's pretty smaller, but you still have all the different input port, which is on the left side of the U console, and they will be HDMI, USB-C, and USB-A. Unlike the original version, you do need your screwdriver to install this extension board. Here, I already have removed the different screw for the housing, but you see here, I still have an extension module to remove. So it's pretty simple, actually, and then you need to do the swap. For the ones that are not comfortable, maybe it's better to remove the battery as well. I left them because I was maybe in a hurry to test it at that time, but thankfully nothing was broken. Reuse the screw for the open interface board and don't forget to use the IO panel and put it on the side. With the IO panel, you could see it gives really a clean and professional look. Before installing the backside, I prefer to make some tests. The version I've received is one of the very earliest release for the U console. So right now, you might be still in pre-order at the time where you're watching this video and the board come standalone. So that means that you need cables, either HDMI, VGA adapters that you could still buy from the shop here. BAU, business as usual. Since everything is on GitHub, as the project is open source, you could find your OS flavor binaries for macOS, Windows, or even Linux, depending on the distro you have or you could even compile from sources. And since we are using here Raspberry Pi in the U console, I have decided to compile the Linux sources. However, things are not easy as documented because the Debian RM64 package still contains the x8664 binaries and that is not the same architecture as IRM. Therefore, we are stuck here and we cannot compile from the source with this kind of dependencies. So the workaround and the easiest way here is to use the flat package. And there, there is all the documented procedure in the GitHub and I went for that one and it is working. Installation went smoothly, however, I could not start from the start menu. Therefore, I'm using the console to start the application. And you could see the load is pretty quick. However, it will depend on the speed of your micro SD card. So here you could see the expansion port. It's really clean. And I'm using the cable that were bundled with the original open interface package and there I'm plugging 
the HDMI cable and the USB-C one. They are really short, so they're designed to be used with the open interface adapter. However, here I will connect them to a USB-C hub, therefore I do not need extra space as this hub is going to be plugged directly on the laptop. So it's really a point of concept here just to make sure everything is working as expected. And one more thing to have the application working for the very first time, you need to go in control and then device and select the port 11. So in this situation, you will select the open interface device to be displayed on the application. And from there, you could start using. So my experience is really great, but there is some limitation. The first one I really see is maybe the U console itself. From the keyboard, from simple task, it's still okay. But the trackball might be a bit difficult to use, especially if you have like large uh, resolution. So think about using an extra mouse for this. And last but not the least, this is not just a cable, but a video adapter that converts analog VGA and audio to digital HDMI with sound. You need to connect the VGA and audio jack to the source PC and use the USB plug to power the built-in converter. So what's my take on this? I really like the form factor. It gives the U console zone a whole new utility. So if you were still looking for a reason to get one, here it is, go get it. I do small computer repair work in my local community and this has been a real game changer. I no longer need to carry a screen with me. And the software is still under development, but from what I've tested so far, it's already pretty solid and functional. The cable and build quality are really top notch and tech artisan team behind has proven a track record so you could trust them and I can only recommend the open interface mini KVM to anyone who needs reliable portable gear to troubleshoot PC and servers on the go.